Lesson 10.2, classify triangles by angles. Be smart if you took notes because we're going to cover a lot of information. If you haven't seen 10.1, it's linked in the description. We can classify, that means group, triangles by the size of their angles. A right triangle has one right angle. It's got a little box. An obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle. It's this angle right here that's greater than a right angle. An acute triangle has three acute angles. It's got three cute little angles inside. A polygon is a closed two-dimensional shape formed by three or more straight sides that are line segments. A triangle is a polygon with three sides and three angles. A vertex is a point at which two rays or two line segments meet in a two-dimensional shape. We learned about that in the last video, 10.1. More than one vertex is vertices. Here we have triangle ABC. We have a line segment here and a line segment here. They meet at point A. We can, re we can name a triangle by the vertices of its angles in any order. We can go clockwise, ABC. We can go counterclockwise. We can go ACB. These are all labels for this one triangle. We write a little triangle symbol and then write ABC or ACB, whichever order we're going in, to show that it's a triangle and that's its points. We use this little symbol, this little triangle, to write triangle as in triangle ABC. An angle of a triangle can be a right angle, like this. It makes a little square corner, and you'll see this little symbol right here showing it's a right angle. We have acute angles. They're less than a right angle. We have three of them here. An obtuse angle is greater than a right angle. We have one in this obtuse triangle. A triangle cannot have more than one right angle. If it did, it wouldn't be a triangle. And a triangle cannot have more than one obtuse angle. It won't be a triangle. It won't be able to close. So an acute triangle has three acute angles. It has three little cute angles. An obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle, and it has two acute angles. A right triangle has one right angle, we can see the little box, and it has two acute angles. In third grade math, we learned that a Venn diagram shows relationships among sets of things. And the categories overlap where the circles overlap. This circle is for brown dogs. This circle is for tan dogs. Where they overlap, we have a brown and tan dog. If we try to classify triangles using a Venn diagram, the circles will not overlap because a triangle cannot be classified in more than one way by the size of its angles. So we can't put them into groups by their types of triangle because each triangle can only be an acute triangle or a right triangle or an obtuse triangle. If we relabel the circles in the Venn diagram, the circles could overlap. So instead of types of triangles, if we put the angles that are in triangles and had a circle for triangles with right angles, a circle for triangles with obtuse angles and a circle for triangles with acute angles, they overlap because a right triangle has two acute angles, so it shares these circles. And tr this one has an obtuse angle, but it also has two acute angles, so it shares the circle with the acute circle. Now let's try using some higher order thinking skills. We need to cross out the figure that doesn't belong. And it will help if we know what their inside angles are. And if we're not sure, we can use the corner that we made from our paper in the last video 
This one has one right angle and two acute angles. We can line up the corner of our paper to see that it makes a nice square corner. So that's a right angle. And this is one obtuse angle. It's greater than a right angle, and it's got two acute ones. Here we have one obtuse and two acute, and here we have one obtuse and two acute. Now we can see which figure doesn't belong. These all have one obtuse and two acute angles, and this one has one right angle and two acute. So this is the one that doesn't belong. By using our square corner, we could be sure that they are obtuse angles. See? If we draw a line segment from point A to point C in this rectangle, we'll create two triangles. And what type of triangles will be formed? And we think, well, rectangles have four right angles, so that must be a right angle in this triangle, and that must be a right angle in that triangle. What type of triangles will be formed? Right triangles. And if we draw a line segment from point A to point C in this square, we will create two triangles. And what type of triangles will be formed? Well, squares also have four right angles. So we have a right angle here and a right angle here. We made right triangles again. By drawing a diagonal line, line segment from point A to C, we created two right triangles, and we did the same thing for the square. If we draw a line segment from point A to point C in this square, then another line segment from point B to point D, we will form four right triangles. These center angles are right angles, so we'll make one, two, three, four right triangles. And that happens with a square because all the sides are the same length. If we did it to a rectangle, we would create two obtuse angles and two acute. So we'd have two obtuse triangles and two acute triangles, see? And that happens because these two sides are the same length and only these two sides are the same length. So it won't make four right triangles like a square which has all four sides the same length. See? Rectangle has these two sides the same and then these two sides are shorter. So remember that a right triangle has one right angle and an obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle but an acute triangle has three acute angles. Our next lesson 10.3 we're going to talk about parallel lines, perpendicular lines, and intersecting lines. Stay strong. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.